All right, here's problem eight. Uh, T equals to zero again, the same circuit as previous problem. All these capacitors are discharged, so there's no chargers, no voltage across them. And then you close the switch down here. They want to know what's going to be the current here in the ammeter after a long time. So before it was a short time. Now what's going to happen after a long time? And remember, after a long time, these capacitors get charged, right? Capacitors are charged, which means there's a voltage across them which means there's no more current flowing through any of those branches that have a capacitor. Okay, so any of these you don't have to worry about anymore because all of those, the current flowing through them have to be equal to zero. That means if the current's flowing through, or if no current can flow through those, that means the current can only flow up here. It can then, there's a junction here, it has to flow through the 75 ohm. Once it gets to this junction, there's no current flowing through there because the capacitor is fully charged. It has to flow here. It has to flow down this branch. It has to go down here. It has to flow through the 15 ohm resistor, and then it goes back through the battery. So there's actually only one single path here. All right, so all we have to do now is simply, if there's only one path for the signal, uh, that means everything here is in series. So my equivalent Resistor is very, very easy to calculate. The first thing is it's a 25 ohm, which is now in series with a 75 ohm, which is then going to be in series with this guy, another 25 ohm, which is in series with another 25 ohm, and then which is in series with a 15 ohm resistor. All right, so this I should be able to calculate. That's 100, 150, 165. This here is the equivalent resistor after a long time. So, the voltage is 100, my equivalent resistor is 165, I should be able to find the current flowing through there. Just do it down here at the bottom. The current is simply 100 divided by 165. Uh, my current is 0 0.61 ampere. Choice C is the correct answer.